Hey everyone, I'm Sly, and I'm here with Flo. And today we're gonna talk about J.C. Treader. Flo, we found out that Alex Mack, he's officially retiring. No more return of the Mack. So what do you think, man? Should we go after J.C. Treader? We saved about $4 million by Alex Mack retiring, restructuring his deal, where he got that signing bonus. Do you think it's a good idea to go out and pick him up? I think it's almost a uh, have to because obviously Trey Lance, man, we're going to have to protect him. And this guy, he's been pretty solid. If you think about it, Cleveland Browns uh, watching their games, they, they've always they've actually been pretty mm -hmm. good the last couple of years. And their pass protection has always looked really solid. Mm -hmm. uh, Baker Mayfield just didn't make things happen. But I think uh, the Niners should really go after this guy. I think he's a good replacement for uh, Alex Mack. But uh, you know a little more about him, Sly? You want to tell us what you think? Yeah, man. He was, <laughs> look at, so 2021, he was second in pass blocking. 2020, second in pass blocking. 2019, second in pass blocking. 2018, third in pass blocking. So that guy could protect the quarterback, you know? And we're going to need that for a young quarterback quarterback out there we're gonna need someone that could protect he had a better pff grade in the run and the pass than alex mack he's younger four years younger he's 31 years old and obviously these um browns always had a good run game you know in that offensive line they were beast unfortunately they didn't have a quarterback and fortunately for us they went and they picked they signed uh deshaun watson so they had to pay him big money so they had to uh cut some people loose and unfortunately for um jc he was one of them so Honestly, we got to do it. I think we have to pull the trigger right now. If Where there's a will, there's a way. It seems like every year, the Los Angeles Rams, they keep getting people. No matter what, they're getting new people. And it's like, what the heck is going on? Why don't we do that? We need to do that right now. Go out, sign them. He, it's ready. what? We're in June? And he's not going to get the biggest deal because we're in June. Most people already spent their money. So go out you do it man because like i said we have a lot of question marks we have question marks at left guard question marks at center question marks at right guard question marks at right tackle we don't know what mike mcglinchy is going to do so honestly if we do this right here at least we'll secure two spots center and left tackle with Trent Williams. So we got, I think we got to do it, man. How long are we going to be doing just waiting around, waiting around? Oh, we're building for the future, building for the future. No, let's do it right now. Let's do it right now. I believe that Trey Lance is better than Jimmy Garoppolo. I feel he's better than him. Why not, man? I'm, we're NFC Championship game away from getting back to the Super Bowl. Let's go out there, get a Pro Bowl center, and keep rolling, baby. So what do you think? Yeah, man. I think, uh, especially with those stats you gave me, man, it's pretty much essentially, if you think, the Cleveland Browns historically have been pretty horrible. But every year with him as their center, they've actually been pretty much like a playoff team or at least contention for the playoffs. Obviously, he's one of, uh, of a few guys on the line. But I think, yeah, we have to do it because obviously the center is the most important uh, part because without a center, th there's a lot of... Uh, turnovers that happen so i think the niners have to go after this guy man and i really like um alex mack i thought he was good he was a pro bowler last year but he wasn't the same alex mack from cleveland he wasn't the same alex mack from atlanta um when we were going shotgun formations there were lollipops he was throwing lollipops out there and i think jc has a little more left in the tank than um alex mack you know like i said he's four years younger you know and he's still a dog and last year he had a really great season you know um so i think we got to do it man like i said john lynch um, it's been iffy. It's been ups and downs, you know. I give him credit for keeping Debo Samuel. Um, I don't give him credit for losing a few guys like DJ Jones and whatever. But I feel that this guy right here, he's going to help this offense. And like I said, it all comes down to the trenches. In my belief, it's always the offensive line, defensive line. Offensive line, defensive line. And if you don't have that, you're in trouble. So we'll see, man. Um, I say do it. What do you guys think, man? Yeah, guys, you guys let us know what you guys think in the comments. Do we pull the trigger or do we stand pat? Like, comment, subscribe. Hit that notification bell. See y'all next time. Peace. Peace.